Hi, in this video I will show you what's new in the Blob Fusion. So I added a bunch of presets in the library. I improved speed in the Blender 4.0 and above. And I added the dynamic painting box that I will show right now. So switch to the Blob Fusion tool, Shift A, add Blob. And in the past, it, if I disable auto fit domain size, this is how it would work. You would expand, extrude the blobs. And if they hit the bounds of the domain, you cannot see the result. Uh, but with the new option, uh, the auto fit domain size, it will be automatically enabled by default. You see the domain will expand to cover the blobs. Now uh, you can select the domain, move this maybe to the floor level. But as soon as I will edit the blobs, you see the movement is uh, the domain is expanded back so how can i freeze this uh, domain bottom part there is this green box if i click on it it becomes black and this means the domain won't, uh, won't, won't expand to the back to the bottom this can be also useful for example with the mirror so i will uh, load the horse preset and you see the bottom of the domain is frozen and also the left side is frozen so the idea with the left side being frozen of the domain is that the, the domain is using mirror modifier so there is no point in uh, calculating the signet distance fields, fields on the left so that's why i moved this domain to the closer to the center and then this part will be just generated with the mirror. Also, I wanted to show that uh, you can draft now the capsules and the spheres with different type of empties. So in the settings, the sphere is drawn with sphere. You can change this to anything you want. And the capsule is now drawn with the cube. So this way it is now easier to see that this empty is part of the capsules, like one capsule in here, one in here. And this empty is just uh, the sphere. Okay, so let's maybe load different preset. And uh, this preset is made from two domains. One for the hands with higher, higher resolution and lower resolution for the body. Because if I bump it up, resolution of the body would be too slow. So that's why you know, I had to work around and make a separate domain. So it is easy to separate part of the, part of the mesh. So just select a bunch of blobs. Uh, click somewhere in here. There is the separate selected. Now this becomes a different domain. But I will undo this. And uh, let's say I want to make the domain straight. Stand on the legs. So now the issue is the hands are not glued to the arms. So I will undo jump to the hands and uh, let's see what is going on so if i move any of the blobs the child blobs are not uh, moving moving with it you can see child parent relations by dot uh, by those dotted lines so we are currently in the free move mode i will switch to fk and in the forward kinematics now all the child will move together so this is the parent empty for the hand Maybe you can see that there is the dotted line that kind of tells us that this is child of object, but we cannot see this object. Uh, it is because the parent is in part of the body of the gorilla. Shift click on the eye to show the MTS for the body. Uh, I cannot select them, so I will shift click to be able to select. Now, if I move the empty from the arm, it will move also the hand together. So let's switch to the body. I will maybe shift click to visualize the empties for the hand also. So when we are in the body domain, I will rotate this around. And you see the domain for the active object is automatically resized. But the issue is that domain on the hands stayed in the old place. It is easy to fix. Just select the hands click fit domain banding box so now the domain was moved from the bottom to the hands 
Okay, so uh, I will want to move the arms to the side, but uh, the issue is it we also moves like some empties on the back. So this empty is linked and parented, and this empty is parented to the arm. I will uh, select those, select them at P to unparent, and now if I move the arms around, uh, they won't affect the back. Uh, the hands I will fix in the second, but first let's move the muscles around. Maybe move this muscle back like so, and let's jump to the hands. So a different way to actualize the bagging box is to just select one of the empties from the hand, move this, cancel, and this will uh, recalculate the bounce. Now I will straighten the fingers something like this and uh, in the past this uh, knuckle was touching the floor so i squashed this sphere to simulate uh, it touching the floor i can press alt s to make it round and then uh, move this closer to the finger so if you do not want to eyeball you can uh, slide this towards the parent using shift v and let's repeat this Rotate around X, like so, at S, rotate at lo around local X axis, at S, shift V to slide this closer to the finger, and one last time. Uh, okay, so now you will want to probably sculpt do this. I will maybe move the fingers slightly away, so they are not welded together. And uh, to sculpt the this, you will have to convert it to mesh. So you can do this by going to the domain menu, click finalize uh, blob, and this will create a mesh version, mesh copy of the mesh. So we can repeat the same for the body, click finalize, uh, click finalize, move the resulting mesh to the right, and you can then uh, sculpt go to the uh, sculpt mode and add more details uh, like so. Uh, so I will uh, remove everything and maybe show different presets. So there is the spider preset. If I zoom in, it is made from uh, three domains. One is for spider legs. I can press shift G to select all the spheres. And if I mute them, you see the legs are looking flat, but I can press M to unmute and those empties are, those spheres are adding some volume to the sockets. If I switch to individual origin move mode, I can scale them like that to add some volume to the legs. There is the spider abdomen part. Uh, it holds the back part, the bottom of the legs and some eyes. And uh, this was separated into different domain from the torso because if they were med merged together, uh, the eyes would be, be probably blended with the torso. So I can quickly show you how it would look like. I will select the spider abdomen, press merge into domain, merge into the spider domain. And yes, this is not looking the best. Uh, I will maybe quit the domain panning box. So yeah, the eyes are basically merged into one blobby mess. Uh, okay, let's remove this and uh, load maybe one of the mail presets. So lots of those presets are using the similar setup. So uh, you see that the bottom of the domain is locked and the left side is also locked. And uh, it is the the left side is locked because we are using the mirror, so there is no point in calculating the left side of the domain because it will be it will be replaced with mirror modifier anyway. And uh, this setup is using a higher resolution domain for the hand with 300 resolution and then 100 resolution for the body. And uh, maybe let's jump to the different presets. So the one more male preset. 
So this is the average male with above average musculature and uh, one more maybe this female preset and uh, basically <coughs> what I wanted to show in here that the blend factor for the blobs is kind of important so the quad muscles are simulated with the single blob and if I reduce the blend factor it won't look good so it is important to like keep in mind that for the proper blending of the blobs this blend parameter has to be kind of around 0 0.3, 0 0.8 depending on what you uh, need and uh, let's see how it would look if I shift G and select all the spheres mute them, hide them so this is the base mesh only from the capsules and uh, if I move the uh, the legs, you will see this is the main torso of the character made from one capsule and then there is the second capsule. So I made this kind of bent like this, uh, the bottom part to simulate the pelvis tilt and then it is just connected together to get to give the flow of the character. But without the spheres, Add M to unhide the spheres, it would not look uh, the best. And uh, yes, uh, I think that is all I wanted to show. And maybe the last part will be about changing order of the uh, blobs. So I will duplicate the blob, set this to difference, duplicate one more time, set this to union. So why is this blob cutting hole only in the first blob? Well, it is because the order matters. So this is kind of first blob with index 0. Then we have index 1, index 2. And the, this is just like how modifier in Blender works. Modifier can only see the um, modifiers above it. So the blob this one, first one, can only see the blobs before it, so it can only cut hole in the sphere zero. Uh, if I want to cut hole also in the second blob, I would have to move this like and uh, before the blob one. There is the button move to index with shift aim M hotkey. So we are currently at index two of two. So we are kind of like the last uh, modifier last node. I can move this to index 1 and it will basically swap the last node with the cutter node. That's OK. And uh, basically now this is number 2 and this is number 1. So the this is now the last blob and it sees bo blobs before it. So it sees blob number 1, blob number 0. So that's why it can now cut hole in both of them. So why it is useful? Well, let's say we want to make the ears for the character. And let's say this is the ear and this is the head, but I do not want to cut hole in the head with the this cutter blob. How to fix that? Well, we have to change the order. So in this case, if I press Shift M to change index, we are the at index 0 out of 2. I will move this to the last position in the stack. So you can think about this as moving to the last modifier position. And now you see this blob is no longer cutting the last blob because the order is now changed and the cutter no longer sees the kind of the head blob. So you can then just add like mirror add some detail and etc. Uh, so just remember that uh, those presets from the library can be downloaded from Gumroad. You can then get the zip file and zip this in your hard drive. Then go to the blob preferences, blob add-on preferences and point the library path to the place where you unzipped the, zip, the library file then you will see all the presets. Uh, hope you like the update and uh, see ya.